hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so we will continue our discussion with uh, the physical layer uh, of uh, the network models be it the OSI model or the TCP IP model so we have discussed some basic introductory concepts related to signals uh, related to signal characteristics composite signal uh, and in general uh, about uh, the nature of signals, the classification of signals into different categories and all that. So in this video we are going to discuss uh, specifically about digital signals. In, uh, in, a, in a very short manner we will discuss some basic concepts related to it. Because mostly in data communication the uh, signals or the data is transmitted in digital form in bit format okay binary digits so it is very important to understand some basic concepts introductory concepts related to digital signals so first signals are of two types basically uh, you know there are other ways of classifying it but in you know in relation to computer networking and data communication mostly we will find signals of two types analog the original form and digital the converted form the modified form now analog signals are continuous we have already discussed in the previous uh, basic uh, concepts of signals that uh, they are continuous in nature and uh, the signal values they exist at each and every point of time and these signals can have amplitude in between zero and infinity any value they can take that is the, the amplitude is not limited to certain predefined levels okay so this is an example of analog signal it is continuous in nature it exists at each and every point of time amplitude is also variable okay digital signals are uh, the opposite not exactly opposite but uh, these signals are defined at in between specific points distinct points okay and they do not exist for each and every point of time okay they're defined in between certain time instants for a certain duration another important characteristic of digital signal is that they the amplitude of digital signal is fixed and can take only certain predefined values okay and mostly uh, in data communication uh, the uh, two value format is used a high value and a low value 0 1 mostly 0 is taken as low and 1 is taken as high that is the positive logic in the negative logic the opposite is taken but that is a separate discussion which we should do in digital logic circuits uh, because there are a lot of things related to it so basically the underlying uh, the characteristic of digital signal is that they exist in between certain time instants for a certain duration they have fixed voltage level levels assigned to them predefined voltage levels and they can only take one of those multiple pre-assigned voltage levels and uh they uh they did mostly uh the, the the in the data communication the two bit format the zero and one that is used zero for low one for high or the opposite and another important thing is that in order to convert an analog signal to this digital form there is another process which happens in between which is called as the discrete uh, you know conversion of the analog signal into discrete uh, format this now there are three steps involved in it for analog to digital conversion sampling quantization and encoding sampling is the process in which a number of samples of these signal and the analog signal is taken sampling means it uh, the amplitude values at certain fixed time instance of equal durations is taken the amplitude values are considered and uh, a particular criteria 
the sampling criteria is used where the sampling frequency must be greater than twice of the maximum signal frequency that is the criteria so that information loss does not happen okay then that gives us this discrete time signal then two other process remain that is quantization and encoding which involves you know uh, the voltage levels are assigned to them and encoding is to conversion into bit format so we will discuss it in signals and systems and in communication systems i uh, will not discuss it here because it is not required okay just we have to understand that these three processes are involved to convert this analog signal into this digital form so digital form exists for certain fixed durations it does not exist everywhere and it has fixed voltage levels okay now as i said uh, in data communication data is transmitted in bit format now bit transmission of data means that uh, data is sent as a series of zeros and ones okay like that it can be anything it's not fixed it can be 0001111 or 0101011 or 111000 anything but it is always transmitted as a series of zeros and ones and it takes place at the level of the physical layer which handles the uh, electrical specifications of the medium the data transmission and reception rate the bit rate and everything related to that we have already discussed in the physical layer basics so the important thing why we are discussing this digital signal part is because of this point data is transmitted in bit format so we should understand all the characteristics related to bit transmission of data so the basic characteristics related to this bit transmission of data are first number of bits per voltage level now we know that certain fixed voltage levels are assigned to digital signal so how many bits will be required uh, so that the information can be transmitted in a in an effective way that is that has to be decided then bit rate how many bits should be transmitted in a given period of time and bit length what is the duration of the bit okay so all these things are important so first is number of bits per voltage level okay now the number of bits per voltage level that is uh, that means for a given number of voltage levels how many bits are required okay in order to send the data or to transmit the data in an effective way that is given by this mathematical formula that is log of the number of voltage levels with base 2 for example if there are 8 voltage levels okay suppose there are 8 voltage levels of different value let's say 0 or volt i'm just giving an example 0 volt 1 volt 2 volt 3 volt 4 4 volt 5 volt 6 volt 7 volt and 8 volt like that Okay, zero to seven volt. Sorry, zero is also included. Zero volt to seven volt. The three, uh, eight different voltage levels. So, how many bits will be required per voltage level? That is given by n log eight to the base two, which is three. It means three bits are required. Okay, zero 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 one zero one zero zero one one like that up to one one one. So. we can uh, understand it in this way okay so let us first discuss bit rate then we'll discuss both of these in, at at a time next characteristic is bit rate so bit rate is the number of bits transmitted or sent in one second per second how many bits are transmitted so the digital signals mostly will uh, which we come across in data communication they are non periodic in nature so the concepts of uh, frequency time period they do not come into play at all because time period and frequency they exist for periodic signals we can define that but mostly the digital signals they are non periodic in nature like this 
this this is a non periodic digital signal so the concept of uh, time period frequency will not come into play because there is no fixed pattern of the signal so for this uh, in order to describe the characteristics of the digital signal bit rate is used so bit rate is uh, used instead of frequency to describe the characteristic of the signal okay the number of bits transmitted in one second so here now let us discuss the number of bits per level and bit rate at a time so in this digital signal there are two voltage levels let's say this is 0 volt and let's say this is 5 volt for example so two voltage levels are there so the number of bits that are required to describe this digital signal as per this formula is log base of the number of voltage level which is 2 to the base 2 so that will be equal to 2 number of bits per level is 2 that is here 2 bits are required 0 and 1 ok only 2 bits are required here 0 and 1 because 2 voltage levels are present and here the number of bits that are transmitted in 1 second are 1 this is logic 1, this is logic 0, this is logic 1, this is logic 1. So, 4 bits are transmitted in 1 second. So, 4 bit per second. That is the bit rate. And the number of voltage levels per level, number of bits per voltage level is 2. In another example, here we have 4 voltage levels. Let's say 0 volt, 1 volt, 2 volt, 3 volt. Just an example. In actual, uh, certain uh, standards are there for voltage assignment uh, for digital logic we'll discuss that in a later video i will not bring those things right now so let's say there are four voltage levels zero one two three four voltage levels are required uh, are there how many bits are required so as per this formula log of four to the base two so two bit uh, two bits will be required okay two bits so those two bits are 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 okay in that way we can describe okay two bits are required group of two bits and here in one second how many bits are transmitted here 1 1 means two bits here 1 0 two bits 0 1 two bits 0, 0, 2 bits. So, total 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. A total of 8 bits are transmitted in 1 second. 1, 1 means that it is a group of 2 bit. 1, 0, it is a group of 2 bits. 0, 1, it is a group of 2 bits. 0, 0, it is a group of 2 bits. So, all total 8 bits are sent in 1 second per second. So, 8 bit per second. That is the bit rate here. Number of voltage levels are 4, number of bits required per voltage level is 2, bit rate is 8 bits per second. In 1 second, 8 bits are transmitted. Okay, so this is number of bits per voltage level and bit rate. Another concept that is there is the bit length. So, bit length is the distance which one bit occupies in the transmission medium. Okay. So, uh, it is uh, very much similar to the concept of wavelength in analog signals. Uh, so, as digital signals are non-periodic, so we will describe this with the help of these characteristics, bit length, which is similar to the concept of wavelength. So, bit length is equal to the mathematical uh, uh, formula is the propagation speed of the digital signal multiplied with the duration of the bit okay similar to the concept of you know speed into time uh, length or distance is equal to speed into time you can relate it with that so bit length the duration uh, the uh, distance which one bit occupies is the propagation speed of the bit or the digital signal multiplied with the duration of the bit okay so this is uh, all about uh, the basic characteristics related to the bit transmission of uh, data and data communication in terms of the number of bits per voltage level bit rate and bit length so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering have a great day thank you very much